welcome to my channel my name is Kimmy and today we are going to transform into an ABG I'm just gonna show you this look brace yourselves for no makeup look in three two one I'm going to mix my makeup forever HD with makeup forever reboot I'm gonna blend it to make my perfect blend It's a little more even now. The leftover I'll just put down my neck. Since I want to brighten up my under eyes a bit, I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Concealer and this is in the shade 210N. Under my eyes, not too much. Then I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Concealer which I really love in 2N. I'm just gonna spot conceal my pimples or my acne scars. Damn, I got a lot of acne scars, okay. Lately, I've been breaking out so much because I've just been testing a bunch of new products, especially after that Sephora sale. I kind of went off and bought a ton of things. Whoa, okay. Let me go back in with that Rare Beauty because I want to use it kind of like a highlighter. I'm just going to put a little bit, just like a tad, around the nose. Got a lot of redness there. With the pimples, I like to pat them in with my finger. I feel like it has the best coverage. I am going to blend my concealer with my Real Technique sponge. So the Rare Beauty is really nice. It's not crazy coverage, but the formula is really nice and whipped, airy, Ooh. and light. I'm going to take my new fave blush it's the rare beauty gel blush in grateful a little goes a long way blend it in it gives like the most natural finish Now I'm going to use a translucent loose setting powder and it's the Laura Mercier one which really does live up to the hype. It brightens your under eye but it does not look cakey at all. See it just like brightens it. Now I'm going to take my Benefit Hoola bronzer and I'm actually going to use the brush inside. It has like the perfect edge. Just like a little bit like that off the back of my hand so it's not too powdery. Go down. Just gives it a subtle little contour. Contour your cheekbones around the forehead. Bring it down like a three. I learned that from Kim Kardashian, okay? Bam! Let's move on to the brows. Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil from Shoppers. I was using it for my eyeliner because sometimes black is a bit too harsh. I actually tried it on my brows very lightly and it's very nice. But you need to use a light hand. I'm going to take my brush and kind of blend it out. I got them tattooed on. What the hell? I'm going to take my eye pencil that I used for my brows again. I'm going to tight line the top of my lashes. Tight lining your eyes will definitely help give you the natural but defined look. 
blend it out so that it's not so patchy. So these pair of lashes, they're the Ardell 859. While I wait for these to dry for like 30 seconds, I'm going to curl my lashes. This is slightly tacky. I'm just going to apply it. Girl, look at the difference. Oh my God, talk about catfish. Whoa, lashes girl, okay. took the darkest color in this palette. It's called Smoke Show. Just the outer corner, do a wing. Going to line the outer lashes, just the corner like that. It really opens up your eyes. This is the Essence Double Trouble Waterproof Eyeliner. Just really opens up your eye. I'm just gonna line my lips. It's Maybelline Lifter Gloss, and this is a nice nude color in stone. This is the look. Maybe wear it out on your next club event when Toronto reopens. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you guys did, then please give the video a like and subscribe for more videos from me. Okay, so you don't miss any video from me. Hope you have a beautiful day and I will talk to you guys later. Bye! After this, I'm gonna take a bunch of Instagram selfies. Follow me on Instagram, by the way, Kimmy Period Vo.